John Bush Download number 95. Good morning, Andrew. And I'm joined again by Dan. Finally. Finally. Uh, been yeah. hiding the last few weeks. It's been <laughs> good. <laughs> but, uh, and thanks for uh, for everyone who's been liking and sharing uh, John Bush Download Brexit edition, the Monday version. It was uh, just manic Monday, a manic Monday. Andrew, that was Andrew and his mates. Yes, hello. <laughs> hello. Um, but, uh, all, all none of them. Uh, it's calmed down a bit today, Dan. It's it actually, But even yesterday was bit cray cray if I can use my 15 year old's parlance it was still a bit uh, still a bit mm. mad but yeah it's just calmed down and I think that's partly because the market's up yes you know um, is that the fundies pushing it into the end of the financial year Andrew I think it's partly that I think it's uh, overnight you had the uh, ECB and you also have the US Federal Reserve basically saying that they were going to support markets which we Knew they were, but by saying it, the FTSE was up around 2.6%. So that's the London Stock Exchange. Uh, there seems to be a bit more sort of um, reconciliation around um, Brexit as well. So Friday and Monday, it was like, we're out, that's it. Whereas now there's sort of talk of a compromise, you know, let's have a Norway model. So the Norway model is in which you've got access to the free market. As John Gilson's phone goes off, we have a, um, and as he answers his phone, we have a uh, sort of um, s- security, all that type of stuff, but we're not bound by Brussels, you know, so they can and control. That, that seems to be the issue. And they it? can control their borders. So mm. Norway at this early stage seems to be sort of the model that everyone's sticking to. The reality is we're up today. It'll be down again tomorrow because Boris Johnson will come out and say something until we get a new Prime Minister <laughs> on the 2nd of September and where they institute Article 50 of the Lisbon Treaty, which basically is sort of the divorce. We're yep. going to continue seeing volatility. And without labouring the point, we're going to have more volatility in October and November because, as we've said before, the Trumpinator. And I think one of the key takeaways from this Brexit vote is get pe- in, you know. people are, you've heard it here first, ladies and gentlemen, that people are tired of this globalisation, they're tired of, or the voters have demonstrated that they're tired of globalisation, they're tired of um, sort of this whole way that the world's being run at the moment. I think it was JP Morgan. The the other thing about the US, so they're they're having a lot of issues with infrastructure, you know, from what what you're reading and seeing, you know, roads and bridges are certainly under stress and and that's what he wants to do. So maybe you get a few votes. And and I think that whole keep America great thing is really cutting through. And even though Clinton's ahead in the polls by seven or nine percent, I'm with you. I I reckon he's a a good chance. So uh, whether that's good for markets or not, I'd argue that I'd be buying lots of gold if he was to get up. I don't think (laughs) markets would like it at all. But uh, I think the takeaway from Brexit is he's a real threat. Not that he wasn't before, but he's an even greater threat. Anyway, let's take our pessimism hats off for a moment. Um, Smaller companies. Small companies. What are you looking at at the moment? Yeah, I went on a um, conference last week. Um, oh, that was you really, were? Yes. Yeah, <laughs> that well, was one day anyway. And there was quite a few um, that are interesting. Um, one called Innate Immunotherapeutics. IIL is the code. Um, multiple cirrhosis. Um, there's two stages basically the first stage and there's 13 drugs in the first stage and what they're trying to do is push out the 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 time between MS attacks for want of a better word yeah. where these guys are targeting the second stage where it's it's really downhill actually doing the second phase studies on on New Zealanders at the moment um, and he's quite unashamedly come out and said, when we've got this up and running, we'll just be selling this. So it's just IIL is a company just to park in your portfolio and forget about it. Okay. Um, we'll put their web address up on on um, on the screen for people because you can actually get on and watch and and listen to some Kiwis that are actually were on the drug initially and then they came off the drug and now being put back on. Um, wow. and, and they tell their stories how positive it's been for them. Okay. Resap's good. You missed out twenty eight and a half cents. You should have got in there at twenty nine. So just for those playing at home, it's your phone, this is one I prepared earlier, and you simply cough into your phone. Yeah, five times. And five times, and that tells you as to where yeah, you got what a cold. Your, and what your respiratory issue is. They're going to clip the ticket for about 10 bucks for every time it's used. And didn't you say like it's 95% plus accuracy rate and that's, dependent that's upon? that's on uh, pneumonia. And, and they reckon doctors, or well, this is their story, doctors are only about 80% accurate looking at the, ch- at the chest x-rays. So during the panic, it got to 29, 28 and a half, missed out. What was its recent high? Uh, about 46, I think. So. Okay. Again, we're not talking CSL here. No. It's, and that's the danger with these biotechs that are single product. 
they're either going to go really, really well or really, really badly. But what we're seeing in these is this um, computer learning, like it, it, it's looking at these constant testing and they've done their adult trials now, which is really positive for them as well. Um, FDA, they're talking to FDA. One of the things that the FDA want is a list of phones that it'll work on, so they're working on that as well. The so US Food and Drug Administration, mm. pretty big deal. It is a big deal, isn't okay. it? Because once they get through there, they'll yeah. be off and running. Yeah. You know, they're at 41 today. I see you might get another dip back down to the low 30s if you do. I that hate you, option. I hate you. <laughs> the opportunity. Um, another good one was Antara Life Sciences. Yeah. Some 70% antibiotics sold in the US go into animals. Pigs. Oh, no. it's just, chickens. It's, yeah, chickens, pigs, and we're eating. It's coming through us. Um, scary part is if if you get on and Google um, antibiotic res resistant crab, C R A B. It's got a name about this long, but that's what they call it. If you get that, gone. Wow, this is turning into a really positive. So these down, guys, it? Um, it, yeah, it's good. It's it's a reality, unfortunately. So these guys making, uh, he, he described it as Teflon coating for the pig's gut, so the, the uh, diarrhoea bug just goes straight through without um, okay. hooking in and yeah, working, yeah. and it's made out of pineapple stems, believe it or not. Oh, there you go. Laughing. Any others catching your eye? Yeah, one little one, MinQuest, trading about a cent. It, okay. um, it's a pain recognition program. And for what? people, kids, you know kids you look pain? at your daughter when she was a little one. Yeah, true. You know, and um, for people with dementia. Yeah, okay. Which, which is a big thing in our ageing population. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, your your ageing population, mate. In Gilday's pop. So what they do is they video your face for well, I don't know five, ten seconds, okay. and then later on they can video it again, and they'll tell with the differences whether you're in pain or not. You might have to talk after this. Some of these seem really interesting. They do. Anyway, for That's your uh, biotechnology at needs, Dan Marks. Thank yeah. you very much. Uh, that's it in Dormitown Mode number 95. Done and dusted. Done and dusted. See you next week. Thank you.